Now to the death of another struggle stalwart, International Relations and Corporations Minister Lindiwe Sisulu says Mendi Mzimang's death is a loss to South Africa. Delivering the eulogy at Mzimang's memorial service, Sisulu described him as a torchbearer and a gallant fighter whose life needs to be celebrated. Mzimang died on Monday morning, five days before his 90th birthday. He was one of Democratic South Africa's first diplomats to the United Kingdom. Pay in tribute to the country's struggle stalwart. Mendim Simang succumbed to cancer on Monday, five days before his 90th birthday. Uncle Mendy, as he was affectionately known, was a former Treasurer General of the ANC. He is hailed as an outstanding member who served with the likes of Walter Sisulu, Oliver Tambo and Nelson Mandela. Msimang was the country's first ambassador to the United Kingdom in 1994. Uncle Msimang was a torchbearer and a gallant fighter whose life needed to be celebrated even as he lived. His simple nature and quiet disposition was a great mark of the power of his personality. He was also amongst those banned by the brutal apartheid government. Uncle Mendy was 89 years old when he died. He made sure that the children in exile got good education. They went to good schools and received good education. He was a very good office administrator. I guess that would have uh, what uh, attracted uh, Mandela and uh, Tambo to have him as, um, as, their, as their office administrator. There was a concert in the Royal Albert Hall and Uncle Mendy and Madiba got the Queen to do the Madiba shuffle. Desperately clutching her little handbag but doing the shuffle with the result that the media reported the next morning the Queen, quote, the Queen's first time to boogie in public. President Sarah Maposa has declared a special official funeral for Uncle Mendy. He will be laid to rest on Saturday. Ntlanta Katlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.